I'm going to tell you something today that's going to help you massively during your golf career. I'm going to tell you why a ball starts in the direction that it does. Why does a ball start to the right? Why does the ball start to the left? And uh, why does the curve happen? Why do I hook the balls or slice the balls? When I started playing golf well, 40 years ago, we did not know anything about this. It's only recently um, that the following uh, has become known to all golfers, and you're going to know it as well. So, the reason why the balls don't start straight is because the club face is either open or closed. The club face is the reason why your ball starts to the right. It's not the swing direction. A lot of golfers who slice their balls will automatically start swinging more to the left. But as long as the club face is open, the ball will still start to the right. I'm going to prove that to you right now. Okay, so the club face is pointing right of the target. I'm going to swing towards the target. Let's see what happens. The ball flew to the right. So let's see what happens if I swing to the left. So my club face is still pointing about 20 degrees right of the target. And this time I'm really going to exaggerate it and I'm going to try and swing to the left. Slightly better, but that ball also started to the right. Okay, so now let's close the club face. My club face points to the left and I'm going to swing towards the target. Flies left and let's try and really compensate by swinging way to the right. Slightly better, but that ball also flew to the left. So what does the swing direction do, I hear you say? Okay, so let's say the club face points towards the target in impact, but my swing direction is 20, 30 degrees right of that. The difference between the swing direction or the swing path and the club face will create a curvature. Um, what will happen then? The ball will then curve to the left, it's as though I cut the ball. So which of the two are more important? Definitely the club face angle. And uh, let's say you're a slicer. How could you get your club face to be straight in impact and not open? Well, there's a few options. The one would be to strengthen your grip. The other would be to swing more from in to out and then to rotate the arms more. You are most probably swinging from out to in and leaving the club face open. Another way would be to straighten the back of your, your hand at the top of the backswing. A lot of golfers are very open at the top. Do you see my hands cupped and my club face is totally open? If I make a perfect downswing from there, my ball can only start right because the club face is going to be open. So just bend uh, the back of your hand in that direction that will close the club face. Don't do it too much, by the way. It can hurt your wrists. And if you're a hooker, well, if you head to the, to the left, then you can weaken your grip or you can work on your body turn so that your club face doesn't um, overtake your hands. Okay, you can really practice a few times and get a feel for this position. Or it could be, you can see by your divots, if your divots point to the right, you swing too much from in to out and you're rotating too much with your arms, or maybe you're not turning your hips enough, you definitely need to start the downswing with a turn of the body to the left um, to get your club face on plane and you will rotate the club face close automatically less. Okay, so I hope that helped. The main message that I want to give you in this, in this video 
is that the club face is the cause for the ball starting in all sorts of different directions. So go to your uh, PGA Pro and find out what you can do to straighten your club face in impact. Thanks so much uh, for visiting my little channel. I really look forward to helping you in the future. Bye.